Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and y'all know what time it is. Chapstick time. <laughs> TCT and the craziest because I am sometimes. The troll because I consider myself a troll. <laughs> a cute troll once I put on face paint, but a troll nonetheless. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell. I am already sweating, so it's not probably a good idea for me to do this video right now. I'm going to not talk a lot because I am planning to do a lot of editing and fast forwarding. I am going to do a full face. Hopefully I don't forget anything. So right now I am pulling out what I'm going to use so that I hopefully don't forget anything. So we will see how that turns out. Um, what am I doing? Pulling out stuff that I'm going to use. So I think I have everything right here. Nothing on my face right now except skincare. So I'm going to start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I do not like using my hands, and so I've started even <laughs> putting my face primer on a glass dish and using a brush to to put it on my face. This is the Sephora Pro Diffuser Number 64 brush. And I will use the same brush to do my foundation. Sephora Bright Futures um, Concealer. This one is 11.5 Butterscotch. This is the NARS. Um, Radiant Creamy Concealer, Medium Dark, number two, Caramel. Cover Effects um, Power Play Foundation in shade G60. I'm going to put that on the same dish that the primer was on. I'm going to use two or three drops of the Bashia or Boshia Tsubaki Beauty Oil. And I have way too much foundation on this dish. And so I just take one or two drops and drop that right on top of the foundation. I find this helps this foundation or any foundation not be as matte as it is. And it helps it to spread better. As you can tell, this shade is too light for me right now. It matches me when I don't have a tan. <laughs> I use it year-round mostly because it nails my undertone, which is golden olivey type undertone. I just have to be sure when I do have a tan <laughs> to make sure I use a bronzer around the perimeter of my face so that I don't look like the foundation is too light. But I do really like this foundation. I've been using it now for a few years. And I keep trying to use other foundations but I keep going back to this one because it nails my undertone. And as I said, when I use a bronzer with it, it does, I think it looks better than using a different foundation that matches my skin tone at the time, but it doesn't match my undertone. So it, to me, it always looks a little off. Fenty Beauty Bordeaux Brat Matchstick. My blush the same as my eyeshadow is never the same on both sides of my face. Not ever. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. My face is not symmetrical, so why should my foundation be? As much as I try. But anyway, the same brush. Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder. Nothing on this brush. This is the Fenty 170 setting that's what it says on the setting and we know it's a brush so it's a setting brush i'm going to take um fenty powder and honey
Fenty setting powder, sorry, Fenty setting powder and nutmeg. And so you see how that amped up um, my overall skin tone, even though the foundation this time of year is too light for me. Nutmeg I have to use extremely lightly because it is like super, super dark on me, but I do like it for this purpose. And also initially, as you saw, how I used it for just this area and for under here. Going to spray. Cover effects high performance setting spray only because I'm hoping it helps me not sweat so much because I am going to do an eye look I'm going to take that same powder brush and just press in the droplets of that setting spray if you see me do this during the video it's because I'm sweating and I'm just trying to get the shine off of my face I sweat very easily. I do have the AC on and I do have fans blowing. But these lights back here, ugh, sweat. I am like a wool sweater. All right, brows, Fenty Brow Wiz in the color soft black. I don't have my glasses on or my contacts in and so I'm having trouble seeing in this mirror down here and I'm so retarded because I did buy the Fenty <laughs> mirror and so I could just do this. That would make more sense, right? This is actually the first time I've used this and I had it probably for like three months. Like I'm just so used to sitting here and using the mirror back here or the one down here or looking in the camera that I forget to use this mirror. And this is not helping because now I have like three different lines which means my brows are going to come out super thick your brows are sisters not twins uh, that's the same with my entire face each half is a sister not a twin <laughs> Fancy <laughs> eyeshadow primer this is a sample one that came free with something and I am nearing the end so I have to kind of wiggle and scrape. This has been my go-to primer uh, probably for like a year now because it is a tacky primer, which is why I like it. Sephora Contour Highlight Brush number 80 because I don't like getting my hands messy. <laughs> so, so I use a brush for everything. I don't even use my fingers anymore to blend out my primer. I have stuff everywhere. Natasha Denona Safari Palette. We're going to take Thorn. Thorn, this shade here. On the first half of my lid. Real Techniques Angled Brush. Um, this is Instapop Shade Brush. Number 304. I'm going to wipe that brush off and then I'm going to go into Shea, which is this one here. That's going to go on the outer half of my lid. This does not look the same. And we're going to take Desert Date. Desert Date. This shade here, this is a Real Techniques Defining Crease Brush. Don't know what the number is. <laughs> Switching brushes to a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And I'm gonna dip directly into Desert Date and blend this out, blend out that harsh line. I am so sorry that I keep covering up the camera. I'm having a hard time today sitting in this chair. 
Then we're going to go in with Tribe, this shade here, and I'm going to go directly in using the same brush after I wipe it off. And that is going to go directly into the crease. See me sweating? Look at the shine around my nose. It doesn't matter what I do, my T-zone always gets super oily. You saw me put on setting powder, you saw me put on setting spray, and it's still, I mean, I don't know what people do, or they just, I don't know. The perimeter of my face is dry, and at the center of my face just gets oily, and I sweat so easily that it just breaks down, you know, whatever I put on. And not necessarily even break it down, but it just, the sweat just beads up. And when I blot it away, my makeup looks fine, but it's just, it just feels awful though, because I can feel the beads of sweat. Ugh, it just feels awful. But when I blot it, like it looks fine. Then we're going to take, this is a Sephora Pro Crease, Sephora Pro Crease Brush number 19. I'm going to take um, Aya. Or I have the shade here and I'm going to use it as a brow bone highlight this is not the proper brush for this I'm also going to use that shade as an inner corner highlight and also to wrap it around for underneath Desert date the first half of my lower lash line. You saw that kick up in the pan? Probably not. But I'm going to put that here. Which is not really showing up. Even though I did put primer under there. And then I'm going to take Shay. This shade here. Put that on the outer lower lash line and just for giggles i'm going to take tamarind this shade here and just blend that even though i don't think it needed to be blended there is so much kick up in the pan when i use a fluffy shader brush or a crease brush in these shadows and because i'm not liking how this blend is looking i'm also going to use tamarind Oof, fall out everywhere to further try to blend down or tone down this harsh line right here. You guys let me know how you're liking this look. I think that looks better. This is a do-over from that first video that I did when I used all these shadows and I did looks by Rose. So this is a do-over of the middle row, placing lid colors first and doing crease colors afterward. I do like the saturation that I'm getting when I do it this way, when I do the lid colors first. I like that a lot better. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go back in, where's that brush? Did I drop a brush? Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> with thorn and shea just to intensify the inner and outer corner so we're going to do thorn first and really just directly on the lid and not up into the crease like how i did initially and with that with without adding any more shade on the brush without adding Without adding any more color on the brush, this is the one that had tamarind on it. So I'm just going to go back and just uh, maintain that blend. So that's it for that palette. I am going to... There is like shadow everywhere. Uh, from the kick up in the pan. But thankfully, like, no fallout on my face, though. So that's really good. This is the Lorac Front of the Pro. I always say it wrong. <laughs> this is the Lorac Front of the Pro. 
This is the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner in Black. I always mess up my liner on one side so then it ends up thicker than I want it to be because I'm trying to fix it. Hella old buxom inside eyeliner and sapphire so I'm sure my eyes are going to tear because this is hella old. They don't make up anymore. I can't find it anywhere. But this is the only thing that I can use on my lower and upper inner rim that doesn't irritate my eye. It probably will though because it's like super old. <laughs> I just love that look and I can't find any other liner for my inner rooms that don't irritate my eyes. That has been the only one and I think because it's specifically made for inner rooms. I'm going to do mascara. I think, where is it? This is the <laughs> Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara. I have a Zoom call that is starting like right now so I'm going to have to at least log into that so they don't close the room and I'm not there. I love this mascara. I don't know if it's the mascara or actually the brush. I really think it's just the brush because it really separates my lashes. I don't do falsies. I'm too clumsy and uncoordinated to go at my eyelids with tweezers. And quite frankly, the idea just scares me. For lips, we're going to do... We're just going to do a gloss bomb. We're going to do... Do we want this one? We're just going to do the gloss bomb and confetti over top of my chapstick. And this is the completed look. Full face, shine and all. I will list everything below. Let me know what you think of this look. If you have this palette, let me know how you're liking it. I actually do like this more so than when I did it before in that initial video. And I will link it somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Bye.